It's time for that wonderful tradition again, the one day a year we gather to watch people race to shove astonishing amounts of sodium and carbs into their mouths as fast as they can. Of course, we're talking about the glorious spectacle that is the annual Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, the so-called Super Bowl of competitive eating. The 98th competition will kick off Friday afternoon at Coney Island in New York, and a few old pros have their stomachs set on that coveted championship belt and thousands of dollars in prize money. ESPN, which will broadcast the contest, highlights Joey Jaws Chestnut as this year's most promising competitor in the men's championship. The reigning champ has won seven Nathan's Hot Dog Eating contests in a row, and he broke his own impressive record last year by eating 69 hot dogs with buns in 10 minutes. Yes, you heard right, 69. As for the ladies' competition, Sonia Thomas, a.k.a. the Black Widow, is hoping to eat her way to a fourth straight Nathan's championship. Her record, 45 hot dogs. That's a lot of dogs, especially for the 100-pound Thomas. And it made us wonder, how did these ruthless competitive eaters fit all that food in their stomachs? It takes months of intensive training, as Chestnut himself told the Oregonian. He says he'll fast for a day or two and then completely gorge himself on hot dogs past the point of fullness to stretch out his stomach. Every time I try to push myself to a new limit. A radiologist at the University of Pennsylvania says that gradual stretching of the stomach is the key to consuming otherwise unheard of amounts of food. In a study published in the American Journal of Rontgenology back in 2007, that radiologist and his colleagues studied x-rays of the stomach of a competitive eater before and after he ate 36 hot dogs. In the after x-ray, they compared his stomach to a giant balloon that looks like it has no limit. As you might have guessed, all that serious eating isn't too great health-wise. A gastroenterologist told WebMD, on top of infusing the body with a massive amount of calories, binge eating can cause stomach perforations in people with ulcers. And for those who train by drinking large quantities of water, a deadly condition known as water intoxication is also a concern. But many seasoned competitive eaters work to counteract those negative health effects. A competitive eater and bodybuilder said in a blog post for the Huffington Post, he goes to the gym every day and maintains a healthy diet of veggies, lean meats, and fruits when he's not competing. And both Chestnut and Thomas said on the Today Show their focus on health outside competitions seems to be working. I'm feeling good. My body's healthy, it's responding well, my doctor's happy with everything, and uh, as long as I can maintain my weight and I'm healthy and having fun, I'll do it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, this is my good hobby and I enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. You can watch both Chestnut and Thomas duke it out for the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest Championship Friday at noon Eastern Time. The most miserable person in the country on the 4th of July, we have to think it's whoever comes in second place. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.